don't know why I wore white camping. <laughs> Not a good idea. Hello everybody, welcome. Today I am out solo camping, which is something that I haven't done in quite a while. So it feels really good to actually have some quiet time, some time in nature to think, some sunshine. And I thought it would be fun to kind of show you the things that I pack, how I stay organized, and just sort of my camp setup. In the camping hacks video that I uploaded a few weeks ago, which I'll link to right here, I talked about the bin system that I use and I had a few request to kind of dive a little bit deeper into what I pack and how I stay organized. And so that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm actually going to take you around my camp and just show you the things that I packed and how I set things up. It's not complicated. I actually really like to keep camping simple, especially when I go by myself. I try not to pack a lot of stuff or feel overwhelmed or stressed about all the things that you need to bring. So when in doubt, just keep it simple. And I'm going to show you how I do it. So hopefully you can take some of these tips and organizational tricks and apply them to you and your camping trips. Okay, so let's dive into the bins. This first bin here is smaller and it houses all of our camp kitchen gear. So as you guys probably already know, I love cooking outdoors over the campfire and planning really delicious and fun meals when I go camping. It's just like one of my hobbies, one of my passions. And so I really like to pack the camp kitchen gear that's going to allow me to cook those things. A lot of this stuff I talked about in the kitchen essentials video, which I will also link to below, but that's kind of what's in this bin. Here's my coffee mug and a pot and then a bunch of stasher bags here, which are great for leftovers, my cast iron pan, some silverware. One of the things that I haven't talked about yet is this little hack here. And this is just an old Nalgene bottle. And inside is a bunch of our silverware. And so this is great because instead of having this stuff floating around in this bin and then I have to go like dig through and find it, they all just stay in here. And then when I need a fork, I can just grab this thing. I know exactly where they are and it's really, really easy. And so other than that, this is really stuff that we've already talked about in some of the other videos. So I don't wanna like bore you and talk about it again, but really just like camp kitchen stuff here, no food goes in this bin. And that's actually kind of important. I like to keep all of my food in one place. Well, it's actually in two places. So this bin or the cooler. So anything that needs to be kept cold will be in the cooler obviously. And then any other snacks or pantry items items and stuff stays in this bin. So let's talk about this bin. <laughs> okay, hopefully you can see this bin in the camera. Let me check. Okay, so this bin is for our pantry items. On kind of the top level here, I have snacks that I'm going to reach for throughout the day. So I have some crackers, some homemade trail mix here, some tortillas for another meal, a bunch of peanuts. These are so good. My mom sent these to me. She got them down in South Carolina and they're like fried peanuts or something. They're so, so salty and so good. And then I have a box of cereal here because I thought on this trip, I put some milk in the cooler. So I thought I would just eat some cereal with milk as a really quick no cook camping breakfast. And then I have a bunch of apples here and some other snacks. Don't roll away, no, okay, got it. And then a bunch of protein bars, jerky stick, nut butters, things like that. Before we get into the other things that are here, these snacks and these trail mixes and stuff like this, are kind of the things that I would reach for the most. And so I tend to keep them on the top. When I get home, I'll put these back in my cabinet in my kitchen at home, just cause they're opened. Same with like fruit and I have an onion in here for a meal I'm gonna make later. So anything that's perishable, I will take out of the bin when I get home and store properly at home. And the things that are not open or perishable, I actually leave in here. So all of these protein bars and jerky sticks and things like that, I leave in this bin. And I know that I always have a protein bar. If I run out or I forgot to pack one, I need one for a hike. I have a bunch of them in here. In addition to that, I have <laughs> a massive jar of hot sauce, which always stays in here. This is kind of our favorite one. And we have a little duct tape on the lid. Learned about this the hard way. So make sure the lid is shut. And then some maple syrup I always just leave in here because I make pancakes a lot. And this is also where my, oh. This is also where I put my coffee. And this I will take out when I get home just because I like to kind of have fresh 
coffee. So I also have a few spices. The main things that I like to keep in my camping bin are just black pepper and salt. These are the two things that I reach for all the time. And so instead of having to pack and unpack over and over again, I just have little ones that I leave in the camping bin. I have some cinnamon because if you make oatmeal, pancakes, I sprinkle it on top of cereal. I love cinnamon. So I always have that in here in addition to some chili powder. So kind of whatever the spices are that you reach for. Actually, Trader Joe's has some really good blends that usually we have in here. I think we're out the everything but the bagel one so good. So that would usually be in here as well. And then I have some random bags of soy sauce. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of all organized in this little bin here. And this is just nice because it kind of keeps things upright instead of them just like floating around in the bin itself. And so it just helps you kind of know where they are. And then of course you can take this to the picnic table at camp or whatever. So it's just really nice to kind of have it in there. I also have, I didn't really mention these little um, paper bags that seal shut which are nice if you just want to like put a sandwich in here I don't know we don't really use those that much I just like to have like stuff like that in here we have some of these plastic bags which have just been in here forever because we actually don't use these anymore the stasher bags are in this bin and that's kind of what I reach for most often so these have just been in here for like years and then I have some aluminum foil heavy-duty aluminum foil again always just stays in this bin and these are great for foil packet meals. Those are one of our like go-to meals. So we just always leave the foil that we need in this bin. So moving on to what I think is the best thing about this little pantry bin sort of system is that we have a lot of food in here that just stays in here that's not perishable. So I have an entire box of mac and cheese. I mean, I guess it does technically expire, although I probably would still eat it. So mac and cheese. And then I have uh, four bags of Indian food here of all different brands. <laughs> These are so great because all you have to do is just heat them up and you can eat them. Actually, you can just eat them cold too. I mean, they're fully cooked. So they're really, really easy for camping and they're so tasty. Indian food is my all time favorite cuisine. So I just like love this. And then I have a packet of rice that is already cooked. And I also have a bunch of instant rice here. Things are getting out of hand. The next thing that I always leave in this bin are packets of ramen. I have four packets of ramen here, a bag of pancake mix, and then some instant potatoes. So this is like a like instant mashed potatoes and instant hash browns. And these are actually pretty tasty with eggs in the morning. These I would be fine if I didn't eat, but they kind of are always in here because again, they just are really, really quick, easy, small, don't go bad quickly and they're just nice to have as a backup. Oh, forgot these were in here. These are more of a snack. The dark chocolate peanut butter cups, so good. But those I would take out when I got home. And then I also have a couple meals that I made at home for, usually the, I just reserve these for backpacking, but they're nice to have too for car camping if you just don't feel like cooking, that's another option. Those are kind of the main categories of food that I always leave in the bin. So I have the mac and cheese, the Indian food, ramen, pancake mix, and then some sort of like instant potato thing. That stuff is just so nice because if you stay out longer than you thought, so like I'm here right now, and let's say I just don't feel like going home for a day or two, I know that I have plenty of backup meals. Or if your car breaks down and you're like stuck for longer than you expect, like, I don't know, I just like to have these meals in here as backup or if, just who knows who knows okay with the exception of these snacks that are here per trip this just goes in the closet when I get home and then on my next camping trip I put my little trip snacks on top and I take it and I put it in the car so it's really really easy the other things that are in here that I haven't talked about are just uh, garbage bags so, the, so these are in here and then I have a random reusable bag I guess if I need to go grocery shopping I don't know I feel like you these could probably come in handy I just have those in here and <laughs> Same with a couple paper bags, uh, just because, who knows. So that's kind of it for this pantry bin. All this stuff back in here. So one of the things that I didn't mention in the other video when I talked about the bins is that these latch shut, these specific ones that I have, we actually probably are due for a new bin soon. Well, not soon, we need a new one. If you can see, there's a crack in this one. 
when they are not cracked, <laughs> these are actually really great for keeping critters out of your food, which can be really important in high traffic camping areas. Because even if the food is in your car and your car is closed and it's locked, the little mice can still make their way into the car. This has definitely happened for me. I left a little protein bar out in my in the back. And even though my car was all closed up, something got in there and ate through it. So this is great because it will keep the critters out of your food even when it's in the car. Okay, so that's kind of a little bit more detailed look into these bins that always come with me when I go camping. I'm gonna show you around the rest of my campsite right now and some of the other things that I brought on this trip. So there's actually not a whole lot to show you <laughs> other than maybe like the awesome view. This is sort of where I've been hanging out. Little view, I got a really nice view this way, some mountains over there. I set up my little stove system over here. I'm dispersed camping right now. So that means like I'm not at an actual camp ground. So there's no like picnic table, stuff like that. So you kind of have to get lucky and find some rocks that work. This is the stove that I always bring. And then on this trip, I also brought a little table to put it on. And I happen to be sitting on the perfect rock. So this is actually great for cooking. It's a nice flat rock. Don't always find that. <laughs> and then there's a couple other hacks that I want to show you that Nick taught me. We have a bigger fuel can that we can refill easily and so this is so nice because it's a lot cheaper than those green ones and then we have an adapter hose which works with this whole system and so that is really awesome that is something that Nick taught me so Nick actually lived out of his truck for quite a while so he's taught me a lot about little things like that that just make it a little bit easier I have my water jug here and this is a great rock for it because it just can pour it really easily have some space so I have that so as you guys saw I was sitting on this tarp and this actually always stays in my car because you never know when you're going to need a tarp like it can be used to create shade we use it as a tent footprint sometimes and so it just always stays in the car for every camping trip so I'm going to put this back in here I actually slept in my car last night because I pulled up here kind of late when it was dark and I just didn't feel like trying to pitch a tent and find like a good spot. So I have my sleeping pad, which I love. And then this is my sleeping bag and my pillow over there, which I just grabbed my pillow from home actually. So like super comfy, comfy. I feel like this is so luxurious for camping. I have an extra wool blanket here, the tarp, some jumper cables and a tool kit that always stay in my car. So I have a little water bottle. So that's kind of it for the back here or over here, I'll show you. So over here is a bunch of my camera gear and in here is like my notebook, other filming stuff. So I now travel with like tons of camera gear. That's kind of what all this is and my computer to put the footage on after I've filmed it. And then here is my tent, which I haven't pitched yet. So that's it for the back. And then up in the passenger seat here, I have my duffel, which just has like a couple jackets in here, a hat, some like just layers and clothes that I honestly don't wear. Like I feel like I just wear the same thing <laughs> for days when I go camping. So that's kind of what this is, what's in here, like toothbrush, toothpaste, that kind of stuff. And then this is my day hiking backpack. So just have that in case I want to go hiking. A backup canister, which we don't really ever use, but in case we run out of fuel, this is kind of like the backup one. And then I have a smaller cooler here which I'll show you so since it was just gonna be me on this trip I packed our smaller cooler here because I just didn't need like the huge Yeti <laughs> And in here I have a bunch of pre-washed and cut lettuce for salads and then some peppers, cheese, eggs for like an egg scramble, a cucumber, a bunch of milk, tomatoes. So like really simple, but I was just planning to make like eggs and salads while I was here. So that's kind of all ready to go. <laughs> So that is really it for what I bring camping, how I stay organized. There's actually plenty of space, at least in, in my Xterra here. So that's kind of how I do it. If you have any questions at all, make sure to comment below. Just even if you want to say hi, I read all the comments. I love hearing from you. And I have a list of video ideas from questions that you ask and things that you want to know. So make sure just to let me know. Let me know before you go. I've spent too much time by myself now. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and make sure to subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, it's something really simple to do if you like my videos and it really supports my channel. I'd love to see you in next week's video. Have an awesome week. See you soon. Peace.